السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وكفى وسلام على عباده الذين استفى ما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في كلامه المجيد وفرقانه الحميد بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون واعتصموا بحبل الله جميعا ولا تفرقوا واذكروا نعمة الله عليكم إذ كنتم أعداء فألف بين قلوبكم فأصبحتم بنعمته إخوانا وكنتم على شفا حفرة فأنقذكم منها كذلك يبين الله لكم آياته لعلكم تهتدون وقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أيها الناس إفشاء السلام واطعم الطعام وصلوا الأرحام صلوا والناس نيام تدخلوا الجنة بسلام وكما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام صدق الله العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله ثم الحمد لله الله سبحانه وتعالى special mercies, bounties we are using non-stop Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying وَإِن تَعُدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْسُوهَا If you try to count my favor, my bounties, you cannot finish. In that place Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying لَا إِنْ شَكَرْتُمْ لَا زِدَنَّكُمْ If you give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you make shukr, Allah will increase His bounties upon you. وَلَهِنْ كَفَرْتُمْ If you deny, إِنَّا ذَبِّ لَشَدِيدٌ Then you have to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment so severe. And Surah Nisa, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, مَا يَفَعَلُ اللَّهُ بِعَذَابِكُمْ إِنْ شَكَرْتُمْ مُعَمَنْتُمْ Why Allah will punish you? If you make shukr and if you have iman. That means we have to give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us in our daily life, whatever we do, the beginning and end, you can see Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us the du'as, du'a, beginning, the words is Alhamdulillah. When we finish food, what we say? Alhamdulillah illadhi at'amana wa saqana wa ja'alana min al-muslimin. When we finish bathroom, where is the du'a? Gufranaka alhamdulillah. Say again alhamdulillah. Why? Because it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's bounties we are using. Lot of people, lot of people, smarter than us, handsome. Okay. After all, they cannot use Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's bounties. Go to Africa. Those people, they are suffering. Go to Syria. They suffer. They, they don't have any shelter, no food, no electricity, nothing. Just a few days ago, BBC showed, you know, Siberia, Kashmir, Afghanistan, minus 22 degree. You know, the people, they have no healing system. But we are sitting in this masjid, mashallah, we don't need an, even jacket. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's bounties we are using. And Allah said, Day of judgment, Allah will ask about his niyama. One of the questions, I gave you niyama, what you did. Summa la tus alunna yawma idhin anin naim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us chance to perform Salatul Maghrib in this community. Lot of Muslims, they didn't get a chance. But Allah gave us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created as human being. The how many creation Allah has created. The scientists they said more than eighteen thousand. More than eighteen thousand. Just only fish. You know, fish a lot of varieties. Just only fish. Under the ocean. One. 
than human being. Billions of people. One. So Allah, whole universe, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created so many his creation. More than 18,000. More or less. And Allah said, وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي Adam." Indeed, we honored the children of Adam. And how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honor us you can see in Africa sometime Discovery Channel you can see tiny young boy pulling huge giant the elephant from where they got this power that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created we never requested Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala well, Allah you create me as a human being but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made us Ummah Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. All the prophets, all the prophets from Adam alayhi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam until Isa alayhi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. All the prophets, they made dua. Allah, make me Ummah Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has just accepted Isa alayhi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's dua. Then Allah will send him again in this world as a Ummah of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Day of Judgment, no Prophet can enter Jannah before Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And no Ummah can not, no, no Ummah can enter Jannah before Ummah of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah gave us honor. Allah made us, Allah has created us human being, Muslim, Ummah Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, so many things Allah gave us. And I say it, وَإِن تَعُدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْسُوهَا Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wa ta'ala's favor. So, always we should say, Alhamdulillah, laka alhamdu wa laka shukr. So, Alhamdulillah, <coughs> this masjid, this program, every month they get together. Monthly program. This kind of like, you know, a unity. Sign of unity. They invite, they prepare food. Sorry. They prepare food. They talk about Deen Islam. They share. So this is great thing. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talk about a unity. Now dear, I recited the ayat from Surah Al Imran. Allah said, Wa tasimu bihabdillahi jamiyam wa la tafarraqtu. You hold a rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that means Quran, all together. Wa la tafarraqtu. Don't be separated. Today, the world, if you see the Muslims, they are getting trouble. You know why? So we don't have any unity. We don't have any unity. A little tiny unity, you can see, immediately to affect today's news. Erdogan from Turkey, the Prime Minister of Turkey, he came to Mexico <coughs> and he called Obama. You know, three students, two people killed. But from you, that there is no statement. If something happened in our country, then we will not give any statement. What happened? Immediately President Obama, he called the family of his three students. Sign of unity. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave power this country? What is the name of this country? The United State, States of America. United. They are united. <coughs> A tiny state, the Hawaii, in the, Pacific, in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, if Japan or China give a little bit threat, whole the country, all together, will protect this tiny state. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, O oh Muslim, you be united. But you can see the Muslim countries, the world, if you see world map, Tiny, even you cannot see the Kuwait. This country, we are separated. 
and we are getting trouble. Alhamdulillah, this masjid, Baitul Mukarram, we have this program, the monthly program. This sign of unity. In Bangladesh, there is a book, Amar Boy. I, 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 I don't know you read or not the story. Father was very sick. Almost at this time, he called his ten sons. Come, I want to give you an advice. But when you come, you should bring a stick. So everyone brought. Father ordered them to tie all together. They did. The father said, one by one, try to break this. They are trying. Bundle. Ten stick. But they couldn't. The father said, okay, untie this bundle. They did. Okay, take your stick, each one. They took. So now you tr try to break. They did. Very easy way. The father said, Oh my sons, if you are united, Wallahi, no one can break you. But if you are separated, like you broke the stick, same way everyone will break you. So our shaitan, shayateen, devil, and also the enemy of Islam, they are always you know, looking at us. And Shayateen, Shaitan, the leader of Shayateen, he made Qasum. Oh God, this is your Qasum. I will take your each and every servant towards Jahannam. This is his Qasum, his promise. And first, first way, you can see, they try to isolate the person from the community. Then after that attack, if you see wildlife, the lion never, never attack the buffalo or the other animals group. Never. They try to separate first one, then everyone jump. Same thing, we Muslim, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala ordered us. وَاتَسِبُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا You all together hold the Allah's robe, this is, that means Qur'an and don't be separated. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala special order for us. But we are. Some masajid I saw, you know, <coughs> as a imam after Salat to Jummah, especially Salat to Jummah. Pakistani group, Bangladeshi group, Indian group, Egyptian group. Okay, so many groups. But why Muslim, time of Prasur Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they got power. They control two superpowers, Rome and Faris. How? When Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam migrated from Mecca to Medina, you can see, he just build the state, the diverse community. Salman Farsi from Iran, Bilal Habshi from Africa, Soheb Rumi from Rome, then built the community. Same concept, same concept this country took. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them power. This is Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's idea. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to get wahi. After all, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala ordered him, Ya O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whenever you do, before you do your work, first you make mashwara. Discuss with your Sahaba Ikram. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala's morning and evening used to send Jibreel Alayhi Salatu Wasallam. After all, make mashwara. New ideas you will get which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us this opportunity. After all, we are not using these things. How many times we perform salat? 
How many times? Five times. And if you see, whole community, they perform five times salat with jamaat. Any problem? Anyone's problem? Easy way we can solve. One day in our masjid, I just mentioned, if you have problem, come to masjid, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will solve your problem. One, one of the brothers, he from uh, Philistine, and he said, after Salah, he said, really Imam, what you said, uh, if I come to masjid, Allah will solve my problem. Yes. Oh, you know, so many days, uh, almost like two years, my son, he didn't get a job. So what is your son's um, you know, qualification? We are IT expert. Then immediately I called, Brother Bilal, come here. Uh, can you help him? Yes, yes. What happened? His son needs a job because he's also an IT expert. <laughs> Within a two minutes, this person said, Okay, tomorrow, inshallah, your son will get a job. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us this system. Five times salat you perform with jamaat in the masjid. Then whatever problem you have, you can solve you can solve these problems in the masjid. And holy year, the one day you get together where? In the Alpha. How many people? How many Muslims? You cannot see this kind of gathering in the whole world. Just one in the Makkah. Allah SWT gave us this system, but we don't utilize these systems. Allah SWT gave us. Earlier I decided the hadith. See, Rasulullah SAW gave us ingredients how you can build a strong community. <coughs> Abdullah ibn Salam radiallahu ta'ala is the very big scholar. Judaism. At the same time, great Sahabi of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. One of the great Sahaba. He said, "When I heard Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam migrate from Makkah to Medina, I came and I was observing. This time he didn't accept Islam. Really, he is real prophet or false? I was looking at him." Then Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam addressed the Sahaba Ikram. What he Rasul said, Ayyuhan Nas. Rasul didn't say, Ayyuhal Mu'minun. Mm -mm. Ayyuhan Nas, O oh people. Because when you are living in the community, so Muslim, Hindus, Jewish and Christian, all kind of people, they are in your community. Your neighbors, they are not Muslim. But Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam giving the ingredients. If you want to build this strong community, the follow this instruction. What is that? Ayyuhan nas. He addressed the people. Ifsha usalam. Number one, you give salam. Wadi'a mutta'am. You feed people. Wasilul abham. Tie relation with your relatives. Salu wanna suniyam. You perform salat when people they sleep. Tadukhulul jannah tabi salam. You enter jannah peacefully. This hadith is very common. Alhamdulillah, more or less we know this hadith. But we don't implement. Number one, if shahu salam. You give salam each other. You know, in our community, whenever we see pious person, Imam, Shaykh, then we give salam. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. We are very much <coughs> particular about whenever we see this person look like he's, you know, namazi. Then he may say, Salaam alaikum. But when we talk with our family members, how we talk? Hello, Baba. Yes. What do you want? And if you give salam to your wife, Assalamu alaikum Ali. Then immediately, wife from other side, are you okay? Are you okay? 
for Sauti. That means why he gave salam, then why be saying what's wrong with you? Are you okay? That means we don't give salam each other. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, you give salam each other. And the hadith you know or you don't know. Give salam. Give shah salam. Lot of barakah. But sometimes we give salam in the message ASA. Don't write ISIS. Okay, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Whole thing. It's salam itself, it's ibadat, and this is the, you know, dua. What does it mean, salam? Ah, dua. One of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's attribute, ya salamu. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's one of the attributes. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created Adam alayhi salatu wa salam, Allah has created him. Then after Allah, Allah SWT called Adam and said, come here. There is a group of malaika, angels. Give this tahiyya, gift, and say this, utter this word. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. And listen carefully what they are saying. And this thing will be for your, you know, offspring. Then Adam alayhi was salam in the earth. And he gives salam, assalamu alaikum. They say, they return. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. That means this thing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught us. Salam. And Allah said, whenever you enter home, you give salam. Tahiyyatu min andillah mubarakun tayyibah. This is the barakah for you. For your family members. But we don't give salam that much. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us, you give salam first thing in your community. The Sahaba Akram, they had competition to give salam first. Sahaba Akram said, you know, we try to give salam before Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to give salam first. But our problem, Whenever you see an uh, elder person, they always think everyone will give salam first. Then we give salam. No. You give salam first. And if you give salam first, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you 90 rewards on salam. And when we talk with our children, and they, are, they, they, they will not give salam, but they will say hi. Hi. We say hi. No reward. Even it's not ibadah. Even it's not a dua. Hi. Good morning. The good things for morning. Good evening. Good thing for evening. But if you say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh, this salam until day of judgment. Until day of judgment, this dua continue. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you. And in, in, in the Jannah, the conversation in people. Illa tilan salaman salama. Illa tilan salaman salama. They will talk to each other. Salam alaikum. Salam peace. Salam peace. First thing Rasulullah sallam taught us. Ifsha us salam. And number two. Wa tiyamu ta'am. You feed people. Now you can see in our society a lot of restaurant. Lot of restaurant. Previous day there is no restaurant. They used to fight each other. Why? Mehman guest will eat my house. Competition. Nowadays, no competition. And how we talk with a mehman, with guest? You already ate, or when you'll go, then you'll eat. In our Bangla language, we say, Khaya aste na jaya heaven. Kha ke haya, or ja ke khayenge. This is our attitude. 
But Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Now you feed people, Muslim, non-Muslim, whoever this person. Wallahi, just you do this attitude, this akhlaq you show. Whenever you see your colleague, your colleague, this he is not Muslim or Muslima. But you know, lunch hour, lunch hour time, guys, pay attention. In his school also." Lunch hour time. What you do? You have extra candy or extra sandwich. You share with your classmate, colleague, or friend. This person become your best friend. Why? Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "What you amud ta'am? You feed people." Subhanallah. I saw in my life so many times this thing happen. This thing happened. You are eating the orange. Just one slice. Can you take? Give one. This person next day you will give whole orange. Why? Because you just perform the sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What is mutawam? And the, how you built the strong community? Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave us the ingredients. And Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, before his prophethood, what he used to do, which Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala mentioned in the Holy Quran, Inna ma nudaimu kum liwajhilla, la nuridu min kum jaza awala shumura. They used to feed people. They never ask any reward, any thanks. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he got the prophethood message from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, he ordered. Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Ya Ali, Ya Ali, cook food for 40 people. All the close relatives, Rasul Sassam invited, fed them. Same thing, whenever you cook your home, special food, as you offer your neighbors. The morning when you are going for your job, then you offer your colleague. You know, today, my wife cooked very delicious food. I brought for you something. This person will listen. In Arabic, there is a word in the sentence. Al-insan Abdul Ihsan. Al-insan Abdul Ihsan. Human being. Human being become the ghulam, the slave of Ihsan, kindness. If you show some kindness, this person become your balam, your slave. Whatever you will say, you will listen. Rasulullah Sallam said, "Why you take mutaam? You feed people." Another thing, another quality. Wasilul arham, the relation with the relatives. We are very much weak about this subject. Very much. Father, children, husband, wife. Mother, children, brother, brother, sister, brother. Okay, bad relationship. And if this kind of relationship, Allah will not accept this person's dua. Laylatul Qadr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives all his servants, except three kind of people. Listen carefully. Laylatul Qadr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives all his servants except three kind of people. Number one, alcoholic. Allah not forgive this person. Number two, arrogant. He thinks he is special. Allah will not forgive this kind of person. Arrogant. Number three, those people, they cut relationship with their relatives. Allah to forgive them. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created the whole universe, first thing stood up front of Allah. <coughs> this is called Rahim. Relationship. What is my status? Oh Allah. What is my status? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, if anyone tie relation with you, 
I will have relation with him. If anyone cut relationship with you, I will cut relation with him. The Rasulullah Sallam said, "You can decide this ayat." فَأَنَا سَيْتُمْ أَنْ تُفْسِدُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَتُقَطِّعُوا أَرْحَامَكُمْ أُولَئِكَ الَّذِينَ لَعَنَهُمُ اللَّهُ فَأَصَمَّهُمْ وَأَعْمَى بَصَارَهُمْ Those people, they cut relationship. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala skirts lanat on them. And their judgment, this person will come in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala فَأَصَمَّهُمْ وَأَعْمَى بَصَارَهُمْ No hearing power, no vision. Blind person will come in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if you have good relation with your relatives, Rasulullah said, three things Allah will give you. Three things Allah will give you. Number one, Allah will increase your status. Allah will increase your status. Number two, Allah will give you wealth, risk. Number three, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give barakah in your life. Long life, risk, and status. You can see in our society, in our community, a lot of people is not that much educated. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him a lot of honor. And if you check his background, you can see this person, he helped his parents. That means if you help your parents, your relatives, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you barakah in your life. But unfortunately, we think nowadays, children attitude, oh, parents means, you know, slaves. Parents, especially mother, cook food and calling, Ahmad, come for food, come for food. What? Why are you calling me? This kind of attitude, which is not right. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, don't shout loud voice in front of your parents. Don't. If they are upset with you, Allah will be upset with you. One thing, you know, just I read how much authentic this hadith I didn't discuss, but I just um, talked with other scholars. They said, okay, they will research about this hadith. One day, Sahabi came to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and said, Ya Rasulullah, I'm trying my best to get some blessing of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, but I'm not getting anything. End of the day, zero. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked, do you fight at home? Now this Sahabi said, no, Ya Rasulullah. How about your animals? No, Ya Rasulullah. Then this Sahabi said, Yes, Ya Rasulullah. Every day after Fajr Salat, I see my backyard. There's a tree, two birds fight. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Effect of these two birds, you're not getting baraka. And just you see in our family, every day and night we are fighting. Day and night. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took from us a special night, Laylatul Qadr? Why? Laylatul Qadr, special night. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came out to reveal or to inform Sahabai Gram. Suddenly he forgot. Why? He saw two Sahaba, they are fighting. Then immediately he forgot. And what Rasul said? Last 10 days you search. Odd numbers you search. Whole month of Ramadan you search. And the Hadith whole year you search. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took from his mind. What? Fighting. As you see, in our family, family life, in society, then the country, all the Muslim country nowadays are fighting each other. How we will get Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessing? 
and his help and his mercy. Just think. If we want strong community, from where will we start? Family. And Ulama said, you start from family. Then how you will build the family? This is husband responsibility. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us this duty. Allah said, your duty. Because you are the Amir. You are the Amir of the family. So you build first. And best thing, you come. Every day you give little time for your family members. In our back home, our father, you know, this is, it was his order. At least one meal will eat together. And just you see how many days we eat together one meal. Morning, everyone, the meal can sit here, run, 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 because it's cool. Or the one apple the, here and the running. And lunch hour, no, impossible because job and school. Dinner time, father came late, son, I'm so hungry, finish. <coughs> So week after week, they cannot see each other. Your father called Ahmad, come here. Ahmad attitude like, who is this stranger? Who is this stranger? This is my father? Oh, after a long time, I saw him. <coughs> and this kind of attitude. Whose fault? Father. You come early because your children this is your future. Not only for you, for community. Your children. Why Rasulullah Sallallahu said, when you get new baby, you make atika. Why? Because our future. You announce these things. You announce. Come everybody. This is your amana. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala gave me. Everyone is responsible for the baby for children. So Allah SWT gave us. The so father will eat and call everyone. See it together. Then you can see when you will eat together, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us intimacy, love, affection. Number two. If your house little far from masjid, at home you perform salat. You know, just only one salat. Another salawat, you don't have time. At least one salat you perform together. Isha, everyone already came, perform salat. You need salat. After salat, take one hadith book. Need one hadith. Sometimes you give children, you read. When this person, your, your, your son is re reading, and first time he will not understand. Daddy, I didn't understand. Or say, okay. Again you read. And you can see interest develop inside. Yeah, I like it. This is like, you know, from family. First we need unity. Then you come to masjid. Bring whole family to masjid. Our back home, women, they cannot go to masjid. They will make qaza their salat. They will overdo their salat, but they cannot enter masjid. Which is not right. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us this opportunity. Bring whole family to masjid. Alhamdulillah, we came. This uh, Now is a monthly program. We came. It's a unity. Now intimacy, each other, the, all the families, the brothers. Subhanallah. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will see, they have a unity, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's help, His support will come. And whatever we make dua, immediately Allah will accept our dua. Why? Because we have unity. Inshallah, we, our, we try our best to follow this one hadith, which I just shared today with you. Uh, Ifsha us salam. Give salam each other. Give salam. Wati'amu ta'am. You invite people. 
and you feed people. Oh, I want to invite, but he is Egyptian, so I'm not. Oh, he's Pakistani, you know. Oh, he's Bangladeshi, I will not invite. And in Bangladesh also, he's selective, so I will not invite. Because he's Chidang, no, I will not invite. No. Don't say the country. Muslim. Even sometimes you call your neighbor also. You call your neighbor. You know, today it's our problem. Because whenever uh, people, they see the Muslims, they they scared. Why? Because we never support them or help them. But when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa he got prophethood, first message, Jibreel sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made with him and said, read, read, read. Ikhra, bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was shaking because of fear. And he came to Khadiyat al-Kubra radiyallahu anha and said, inni khajitu ala nafsi. Oh Khadija, I fear myself because a great responsibility is coming on my shoulder. But Khadija Dukubra radiallahu anha said, Kalla wallahi la yukhzika allahu abada. Sir God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never will put down you because you have some qualities. And if you see first, first volume, Kitab al-Wahi, the Bukhari, the first hadith, how revelation used to come. Khadija the Kubra radiallahu ta'ala anha gave advice to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Before prophethood, what Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to do? He used to help the orphan, poor, needy, okay, good relation with relatives. He used to feed people this kind of, you know, akhlaq. They are not Muslim. So same thing if we do in our community, then we can build a strong community. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us you know, a chance. We can show the whole world this example. This example. May Allah give us tawfiq to follow, inshallah. And I will request our Shaykh uh, Mufti Abdullah Sahib just say some words for us, some nasih. Just one day. Five minutes and after the dua. Assalamu alaikum wa Actually, I'm sick. Uh, I just traveled from Bangladesh. I was there for seven days. Within 24 hours, I got sick, and still I'm continuing. <coughs> so I was happy that he's taking time. He's going to finish it, but still he saved me for five minutes. I believe five minutes it is still, uh, I don't know how much I'm going to say. But uh, actually, uh, as inshallah, as, as we know, that there is a gathering today, alhamdulillah. <coughs> there is an aqiqa, inshallah, for my granddaughter. Her name is uh, Nusayba. And um, it is very important in our community, in our family life, to have the aqiqa. It is not only the food, basically it is an announcement. And as the Imam says that everybody should know that it is Alhamdulillah so and so have been blessed by having a boy or as a daughter. <coughs> so Alhamdulillah today that um, as, as I know there will be uh, inshallah very soon there will be food serving good for all the brothers, all the guests here. And there is one thing after a newborn baby comes that what kind of name we're going to choose. This is a problem today, you know. Does anybody just write his, just put his name, even, I don't know here, you know. Uh, I'm, talk, I'm telling you a story of last 35 years ago, 35 years ago. <coughs> There was uh, some, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, countywide was uh, an, an order was going on from the government. How many people in this community? How many people in this community? So somehow I have received also some responsibility to do that. So I just got to there is one name is the name of the person is Bhaga Ghasita. Abju 
کوئی پاکستان کے ہیں یا اردو والوں کو آپ سمجھ جائیں گے نام اس بندے کا ہے کہ بھاگا گھسیٹا تو میں نے پوچھا کہ بھائی دن آیا وٹ کھانڈ میم اٹ از یو نو بھاگا گھسیٹا یو انڈرسٹینڈ اردو میننگ سم بڈی رین اینڈ ہی ہی جس ڈریگ ہم سیل اعوذ باللہ اس اس سیڈ یو نو But of course, the, the person was Hindu, so whatever, you know. But unfortunately, nowadays, the Muslim brothers in the community, MashaAllah Salli Ala, you understand? MashaAllah Salli Ala mean? MashaAllah looks like Muslim, have beard, have jalabiya. But when you ask brother, what is your son name? He says such a name, you get scared, what is this? has no meaning of it you know brother try to choose whenever Allah blessed you have a child a child a good name because the day of judgment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will call on that good name a name has an affection name has a, you know, a kind of uh, you know uh, action even at at the person's life. So, just get somebody's name Majnoon. You know Majnoon? Especially, uh, I work in the prison system. He said, Imam, Majnoon. He said, yes, Majnoon. So Majnoon means Pagal, eh? who has lost everything. So don't give somebody's name Majnoon. But yes, there is a people named Majnoon. So uh, this is one of the responsibility that whenever Allah bless to you to get your name, your child, your daughter or your son name, good name or the best name for the um, boy Abdullah or Abdul Rahman or Amatullah, Amatul Rahman is the best. Then you just choose some good name. But nowadays, people don't care. Eh? I'm good. I do study too. Hey, I'm exceeding five minutes, yes? <laughs> Because I work for the system, uh, you know, I have to follow the time. So, I believe it will still be No, after Salat al-Isha. Oh, after Salat al-Isha? What time is Salat? Seven. Seven o'clock? So then I get a little chance, inshallah. Maybe we can continue another couple of minutes. Okay. So, uh, what I said, I just lost the point. <laughs> Abdullah, Abdullah, Abdul Rahman. So, uh, but nowadays people just taking, uh, choosing their name for their babies, granddaughters, grandson, something because He understand the most. Brother, yes, of course. We are not 50 years back, we are talking. We are, alhamdulillah, more or less. Little bit education, uh, Arabic, translated in Bengali and English and Urdu and Persian and different. So we know a little bit better than 50 years ago. But still, sometimes you don't know what really word means. As like I. It is, a, it is a reality. What is your name? Mahim. Yes, because it is in the Quran, yes? Adabun Muhim. The worst kind of punishment in the hellfire. But the parents, whoever was, Muhim, looks, you know, sounds good. Sounds good. Heard good, Muhim. Because it is in the Quran, so he or she just put their child in a muheen. And it is true fact. I said, rather sorry, this name is no good. Because muheen means such and such and such. Oh, we don't know it is in the Quran. I said, brother, in the Quran there is a word, azab. So should you put your son name azab? <coughs> you understand? So that's why. We have to contact someone who have the ability to choose to get you a good name. A 
it is very, as very important nowadays. Um, at the same time, when Allah bless you, having a baby, you do aqeeqah for your daughter, you know, at least one lamb or goat or such, or if it's a boy, then two, as it is the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. <coughs> so brother, actually, we are here today, mashallah, Imam has touched many, 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 many topics today, many, many topics today. Out of that one, always I say, uh, I'm going to take from his, just a little bit adding that as his brother just said that, of course, for your unity, for our unity, for our being Muslim, for our being that how much we are capable and how much we can do for the world and how much we have been doing how much our past, our those are examples, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and his sahaba and his all the followers, how much they have done for the world, and how much we are doing today for our world or for our society, for our community. This is the question. As I, I think I said last Friday, just last Friday I was saying in, in the prison, I said, some people, some brothers, Muslims, they hate. Who? The Americans. The America. The country. The people. I said, it is very sad that we hate them, whoever said that. First of all, why you came here? So, you can hate them. First of all, in Islam there is no room. In Islam there is no room for hatred. No matter who is. We can hate. We have to love. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for this deen with love and care and respect. He had the full quality of doing to to, to send his message of, in, huh, uh, uh, as Allah says in the Quran, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ Being a mercy for the whole universe, he has proved through his, throughout his life, as like he was saying, that you feel this, uh, uh, the orphans, you care about the orphan, you feed the needies, you help the needies, you do this, you do this, you never will be, uh, you, yeah, uh, Allah will never put you down. The same message we should carry, same message is given to us. How much we really ca uh, care about our neighbors where we are. In this neighborhood, as we know, the different churches. I think last week I was walking in Saranak Lake, whatever the church, I don't remember. The lady said, every Wednesday, 5 to 7 p.m., food will be served. The whole area where I live, maybe three to 4,000 people, out of these needy people, maybe 10, 20, 30, 40, if. But at least they have that. How many times we as a Muslim, who always gave, the history says, Muslim gave, Muslim never takes. Now, we are not giving. Whoever giving, Allah put their hands up. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught his ummah, his follower, how to give more. Give and give and give. Who? Right and left, front and back. No matter who is. He his could be a Christian, could be a Jew, could be a Hindu, could be non-Muslim. Doesn't matter. Your charity has right for anybody. 
charity means charity. A dollar, a fifty cent, an hour. Whatever we can donate for our society, for our locality, for our country. This is our country now. We have to love this country. Because we are here to say, La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. There is a purpose that we are came here. Allah has brought us here, there is a purpose. Not just to have good earning and good Mercedes or a Benz and such and such and such. Brother, everything will be left alone. Left here, only me and you will go empty hand with La ilaha illallah. Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam meaning the belief and the life of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam follow with us. What is the one of the his, 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 his life? Atrahim al feed people care about people who are you going to feed? Who is hungry who needs help how much we do in New York City, there is a hundred of masjid. We are building, we are spending millions of dollars. We are doing so-called election of such and such. Brother, brother, it's very sad to say. Last couple of years ago, I was in New York City. I heard one of the community people from one of the special um, district from Bangladesh, I don't want to mention because somebody might say it's no good. That's good. But I should tell you the person to become a president of this particular district community, guess what? How much he spent? One million dollars. <laughs> To become say, I'm a president of such and such a district of belongs to such and such. A'udhu billah. One dollar is spending for such, it's not going to benefit you neither here. Here maybe, how are you doing? Just one time salam for your one million dollars. But brother, what did you earn for your future? Nothing, zero. That's why, brother, we need more how we can, how we can um, bring the other people to show who we are as a Muslim. We are here, we, we are having Ramadan, we are having Eid al-Fitra, we are having Eid al-Adha, we are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100, 200 people gathering. People are outside going, yeah, Muslim has some gathering, that's it. What is the gathering? They are just eating. If somebody comes here, they are just eating. That's it. It's not. We are not just eating. This is a, this is a culture and it is a tradition that we do as a Muslim once a year or twice a year. At the same time, this is the days it's called the day of Ziyafa from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hadith. This couple of days you cannot fast, yes? The Qurbani and couple of days you can fast. Meaning you eat and drink and enjoy the food. In those days, at least we can have some kind of programs for the local people to let them know what we're doing here. It is just a food. Of course, through the food, they will be able to know us. They will find about the Muslim, how we are careful, how we care about the non-Muslims, non-others, you know, how much our contribution towards the society, our contribution towards the society, brother, it is zero. It is zero. Yes? Is there is any way we can say, no, we are doing something. If somebody said, oh, I'm trying to be senator. Oh, yeah, first class. Good, good, good. But you're going to be senator for what? Just to your own thing, not for the community. You may do some road work. Everybody is doing something. Let us do something better. So, brother, what I'm trying to say, that the imam was saying the unity, 
First, we have to get together. We have to get together. Every Friday we are coming, but again there is some gathering, monthly gathering, brother, sister, you know, all people should get together and have the knowledge of Islam and knowledge of Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. These are the things will bring us together and as the brother says, Salam, Assalamu Alaikum. I say a little different way. These people say, Good morning, meaning what? I don't care about what happened your last night. Your good morning now, then good afternoon, then good night. They made it three different ways, different time, different time. Uh, they said your good morning or evening or good night. But the assalamu alaikum. There is an alif and lam, it's called al istighrafi This is something different, Arabia, you know, grammatical things. As-salam, this word, includes every single morning and afternoon and evening, day and night, month after month, as he said, until you arrive, they have just been as-salamu alaykum. Allah's mercy, Allah's peace, Allah's rahmah, Allah's help, Allah's protection be upon you. Yes? That's what I'm trying to say, yes? So, but unfortunately, nowadays salam has also kind. Why he salams me? Something is wrong. Especially with the imams, with the, uh, you know, <coughs> If we are in that, you know, role of scholars, but actually scholars are gone, you know. <laughs> they are gone. We are just, uh, sometimes our salam question, why he salams me? Something is wrong. Maybe he trying to check with me. Maybe he trying to come too close to me so that he can ask me money. Yeah. No. Right. Salam. It makes you and him and us closer to one another. <coughs> salam, as we say, we salam just from Allah, Allah's mercy, Allah's rahmah. There is should be no any other business in between. And when you salam, it will kill your kibr. Kibr means uh, your arrogance. And it, it comes in our mind, why should give him salam? Brother, it is a dua. What about you as a husband? Do we give salam to our wives? Uh, how it how it look like? No, she should get your salam than anyone else. Whenever you come from the job and she saw you or you saw her, assalam. The first thing is what? Assalamu alaikum, either you gave first or she gave you first. Then the just relation is started. What is Allah says in the Quran? Allah has made between you and her love and mercy to each other. So you came from the job, she don't know what happened to you last eight or ten hours, and you don't know what happened to her, she's at home, maybe something. So whatever happened, Allah knows the best man, I'm saying, Assalamu alaikum, may Allah mercy uh, be, be upon you. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Either little one extra word, alhamdulillah, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Or wa alaykum salam, something like that. However, brother, very shortly, alhamdulillah, there will be an uh, aqiqah for it today. Let us uh, choose a good name, as I said, inshaAllah. And it is a sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And also, by the time, education. Education is the one of the very important things. What are we going to teach our children? 
the first things la whenever he started he or she started saying what la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah should be the first word what we will teach our children and by the time of course brother there is no any choice other than islam to be successful for yourself for myself for our own family or any other family to teach them the adab the manner the akhlaq the <coughs> characters and which is come from the quran as saying that how your child how your son how you as a father you should deal with him how should, he or she should deal with you it's been all said in the quran and inshallah when you teach them the islamic education islamic manner islamic adab islamic laws which is they need as need every day 24/7 inshallah then the life will be inshallah peaceful otherwise there is no any peace there is no anything given only in islam as alhamdulillah those who are trying to practice the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi as the imam said if you can make the jamaah here you can make it do it at home and let your son did one hadith subhanallah one hadith can change his life one word of the rasul can change his life the one word you never know what hadith you going to did change her attitude change your own attitude that's the way and it's always and there is a book but yeah, what kind of book you going to read also try to find out from the imam from this scholar that as the kiriyas salih in one of the good good hadith you know there are so many differences of it may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you for uh, giving me little chance to talk about some little things insha allah aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'ir al muslimin fastaghfiruh innahu huwal ghafurur rahim